you're like me and you don't have time for food which doesn't taste or look delicious, then you're going to love these healthy dishes which are so simple yet easy. So let's take it away. The first thing we're going to start with is a delicious juice. What I'm going to do is quickly put together my wonderful pomegranate juice. The first thing I'm going to juice is some pickled ginger. Japanese cucumber, no peeling needed. That's my first component is the cucumber and the ginger juice. I'm going to use some now for my juice and I'm going to use some later for a dressing. The next thing I'm going to add is some pears. All we need to do is take off the stem. Everything else can really go inside the juicer. Lovely pomegranate. Cut the pomegranate into quarters. We break them apart and then separate off all of the seeds. And you can see that the pulp is almost nothing and it's just almost dry. So this slow juicing, which is a hurum unit, really is fantastic. And finally, we have some fresh limes. The skin you don't want to put through because the skin is a bit bitter. You can see that wonderful fresh green cucumber and ginger juice. Pour this into the jug. Then the rest of the juice. Stir it all together. Here I have some great fresh mint leaves. I'm just going to pop those into the glass and then pour the juice directly inside. Look at that brilliant colour. Yeah, what a fantastic way to start the day. Cheers. Now for my Japanese inspired salmon salad. As we all know, salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and raw foods are great. So I've kept some of that cucumber and ginger juice from earlier, which is going to give a great punch of nutrients. Plus, it's just delicious. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my soba noodles and boil them. Just let the soba noodles boil for about three to five minutes, plunging into the ice water. This will stop the cooking of the soba noodles. Here we have the salmon, very fresh as you can see. I'm going to cut this to three pieces. Gently remove the skin. Just sprinkle some sea salt over the salmon fillets. I'm using this corrugated Le Creuset pan. I need to get it extremely hot. What I'm doing here actually is searing the salmon to get a lot of flavour into the skin, nice and crispy. This is uh, seasonal uh, wild asparagus, uh, but you can use any type of asparagus. So earlier when I made the pomegranate juice, I retained some of the cucumber and ginger juice. So actually I'm going to use some of this as the base of my dressing. And then I have some mirin, a few spoonfuls of mirin, some uh, Japanese kikkoman's light soy sauce, cucumber, and then I just want to take some really nice fine ribbons. Just a little bit of red onion, very thinly sliced. Take a ripe avocado, scoop it out. For this salad I'm going to add a generous handful of the edamames. And then I take the salmon, gently crumble the salmon into flakes. Then my onion, my cucumber ribbons. Just adding the dressing in like this. Then just very gently tossing it all together. Okay, we transfer to the bowl. Now I take my avocado and just nice chunks, nice wedges. And then I just take a big mound of this wild asparagus, just very rustically and, and roughly. This is something I could eat right now. The soba noodles, the grilled salmon, the wild asparagus, the avocado, so ripe and perfect. This is a wonderful, healthy salad, really something quite delicious. Now we move on to my poached chicken salad. Must haves, perfectly fresh chicken, organic carrots. And for this, I'm gonna be using a low temperature cooking method, which is gonna help keep my chicken very tender and moist. So firstly, we have some garlic bulbs, pink peppercorns, crunch with my fingers into the pot, some black peppercorns. I've got fresh bay leaves here, then some thyme. Just pour over about a litre and a half of water. Okay, whilst that is coming up to the simmer, I will take my chicken breasts, just peel off the skin, and I'm just going to leave those to very gently cook at a low temperature. Now we're going to move on to the carrots. Ideally get some very nice organic carrots because they have more flavour. The first part is I've got these muscatels here. Marinate with a little bit of cognac. Now we move on to the spices. 
So my pan now is getting nice and hot. I add the cumin, coriander seeds, and saffron. Giving that a couple of minutes in the pan, nice and toasted and crunchy. Crush these spices up. Very quickly peel the garlic, some fresh mint. And again, I'm gonna pound, peel the red onion, and then we're just gonna quickly, quickly dice it. I'm actually gonna cook the spices and the onions in this delicious French olive oil. And then I go on to my very next job, which is the carrots. Okay, so now the onions have softened. I add my spices, my muscatels, together with the brandy. I'm gonna do a nice yogurt dressing. Here I have some Greek yogurt. I made the cucumber juice for the pomegranate juice. So I've reserved some of that cucumber juice and now I'm adding it to the yogurt. The stock has cooled down, so I'm just gently going to remove the chicken. Now I'm gonna make the carrot salad. So there we have the grated carrot. Here's that incredible spicy onion muscatel mixture. And then I'm just gonna squeeze a lemon. And then I'm using this incredible LeBlanc pistachio nut oil. Sprinkle and crumble the sea salt flakes some pepper, and then I nicely toss the salad. Very fresh and crunchy. So here I have my Kona almonds, just chop them roughly. I take my chicken breast, just take a nice big piece, chunk of my carrot salad. Now I arrange the chicken like this, sprinkling of the almonds, some mint leaves, and then my yogurt dressing. There it's done, very simple, very quick. A wonderful, light lunch, what could be better? Good food is always about finding the best and freshest ingredients. Today's recipes, so simple yet delicious, key on that journey of healthy eating. See you next time on Chris's Takeaway.